Liverpool Heart and Chest Hospital, NHS Foundation Trust. Hello, my name is Amanda. This information is for patients having radiofrequency ablation of atrial fibrillation, AF, a treatment to correct an abnormal heart rhythm. Liverpool Heart and Chest Hospital, NHS Foundation, Thomas Drive, Liverpool, Merseyside, L14 3PE. Telephone 0151 228 1616. www lhch.nhs.uk This leaflet has been written to provide information about treatment to correct an abnormal heart rhythm called atrial fibrillation. Radio frequency, ablation of atrial fibrillation. We hope it answers some of the questions or concerns you may have about the medical procedure. It is not intended to replace talking with medical or nursing staff. Track 2 is what is radio frequency ablation of atrial fibrillation. Track 3, how do I prepare? Track 4. What alternatives do I have? Track 5. When can I resume normal activities? And track 6. Further information. What is radiofrequency ablation of atrial fibrillation? Radiofrequency ablation is a procedure performed to treat patients who are experiencing problems with an abnormal heart rhythm called atrial fibrillation or AF. How is it done? The procedure is done through veins at the top of your right leg and sometimes under your left collarbone. You will be awake during the procedure, but you will give a local anaesthetic to numb the skin. You may be given sedation, which could make you feel quite drowsy. A small cut is made in your groin, and wires are passed through the blood vessel into your heart. In most patients, atrial fibrillation is started by extra beats originating in the veins at the back of the heart, pulmonary veins. The connection between these veins and the heart is burned away, ablated, using radio frequency energy. Will I have any pain or discomfort during the procedure? Some people feel nothing at all during the procedure. You may get slightly uncomfortable sensation in your chest. It is common to experience a fast heart rate during the procedure. If you experience any pain, you should inform the staff. Patients in arterial fibrillation at the time of the procedure may need an electric shock to the heart to restore normal rhythm. This would be done under heavy sedation. How long does the procedure take? It usually takes about three hours, although it can be longer. How do I prepare for the procedure? You may be asked to attend a pre-admission clinic prior to the procedure. You will have various tests and meet with a nurse practitioner who will talk to you about the procedure and answer any questions. Before you come into the hospital for the procedure, it is helpful if you shave your right groin, the crease at the top of your leg. You will need to have a bath or a shower. You will be informed when to stop eating and drinking prior to the procedure. Will it be successful? The procedure is performed regularly at this hospital and is often successful in preventing further atrial fibrillation in many patients. It is sometimes necessary to require a second procedure. The remainder of patients may find their irregular heart rhythm is significantly improved on medication. Your doctor will discuss the chances of success with you in detail before the procedure. What are the benefits of having the procedure? Controlling the atrial fibrillation can reduce your risk of having a stroke. You may be able to discontinue medication that you were on to control your heart racing. What are the risks involved? As with any procedure, there is a small risk of complications. There is a small risk of collapsing the lung, pneumothorax, as the wires are passed under the left collarbone. If this happens, you may require a tube inserting into your chest to reinflate the lung. There is a small risk of bleeding around the heart. Cardiac tamponade during the procedure, which could require treatment. There is a small risk of clots forming during the procedure, which could lead to a stroke. Drugs to thin the blood are used to help minimise the risk of this happening. Burning, ablating, near to the pulmonary veins, can cause them to narrow. If this happens, you may get shortness of breath or a cough. Any risks involved with the procedure will be discussed with you in more detail before you sign a consent form. What alternatives do I have? Having no treatment is sometimes an option for many people with AF. Drugs called antiarrhythmias and beta blockers can be very effective at reducing heart rate and irregular heart rhythms. Cardioversion, electric shock to the chest wall, can be successful in treating AF. Pacemakers are often recommended for people with slow heart rates and sometimes for fast heart rates or irregular heart rhythms. Your doctor would be happy to discuss any alternative treatments if they are applicable to you. What can I expect after the procedure? Following the procedure, you will be taken back to the ward. 
you will need to rest on the bed for a few hours with your leg flat. You will be able to eat and drink unless you require further tests. The nurse looking after you will check your pulse, blood pressure and observe the puncture site at regular intervals. When can I resume normal activities? You may be able to go home the day after the procedure. You will not be able to drive for two days. If you have a large goods licence, you will not be able to drive for six weeks. You will need to take blood thinning drugs, herapin and or warfarin for a period after the procedure. You may resume normal activities the following day, although you must not lift heavy objects for one week. You should take about one week off work. The advice will be discussed with you before you go home and you will be given an advice sheet. For further information visit www.lhch.nhs.uk or www.nhsdirect.nhs.uk or www.bhf.org.uk or contact the British Heart Foundation Heart Information Line on 0845 070 8070. If you require a copy of this leaflet in any other language or format, please contact us quoting the leaflet code in the language you require. CTPAL 5008 Publication date January 2008 Review January 2012 Copyright the Liverpool Heart and Chest Hospital NHS Foundation Trust